Hi everybody and welcome again to this series. In today's video we're going to start working on the action plan screen. We're going to learn how to send data between the screens, which is something new. And we are also going to reuse all of what we have learned in previous videos, like for example, how can we use forms or galleries to show information that it's important for us. So let's start. Okay, so let's create a new screen. This is gonna be a blank screen. And now what we're gonna do is uh, just rename this screen. This is gonna be the action plan screen. And just let me copy the header from this other screen. Let me change really quickly the name, basically the title and the icons that we're gonna use. Uh, well, we have done that before. That's what I'm showing this really quickly. So when we go back to the home screen and we, let me just preview again, and we, we click a customer, the idea is that when I click on the plan button, we should show this screen, right? So that's why we are going to change this and put the method navigate. So let me specify basically the name of the screen that we just created, which is the action plan screen. Okay, so let's preview. I click on plan and now I am showing the plan, the action plan screen, right? It's working. Okay, so just let me go back to the home screen and uh, copy this other control, this, he this header. Uh, we're gonna use this section as uh, the sub subsections of this screen. So here, for example, let's change the name to Opportunity Info and let me copy and paste it uh, a couple of times because we're gonna have uh, uh, three sections, basically. Uh, here's gonna be the Customer Information section and the Action Items section. Uh, let me do some resize and uh, we can do the customizations that we need. And uh, let's copy this label. We, we are basically reusing some of the controls that already had the look and feel to, um, to reduce the amount of time it takes to customize, right? So here we are going to specify basically the text of all of these labels. We are going to get those values from, from the home screen. So now we see the, the header the title of each of the, the values that we're going to get and we have also these other labels to show basically the, line, the title. Now we're going to do something really interesting. From the plan button we are going to navigate obviously to the action plan screen but we're going to send some values. So as you see here we have the context and the context is going to be basically the set of values that we want to send to the other screen. To do that, we're going to create some variables that are going to store uh, values from the selected item. So in this case, for example, the opt name is getting the value of the title from the selected opportunity. So we can do the same which for each of the fields that we're going to use. For example, we can store the stage. So remember that when we specify this item, basically we're specifying the value from the item selected. So when I click on the plan button, basically I am, I am selecting this item from the gallery. So we're going to do the same, for example, with the status. Um, and we can do the same with any of the fields that we want to get from, from that list. The deal size. Um, I think we can also get the opportunity ID, which is other of the properties that we want to send to the to the action plan screen. Okay, yeah, that's the value. Uh, let me just click on format text. Excellent. And let's copy this uh, this text because we basically want to remember the name of the variable that we are sending to the to the action plan screen. Okay, so when we click on preview and we click on plan, basically we are storing the values from the selected item. And now we can just reference the name of the variables to get the, the values that we need. So for example, for the opportunity stage in the text, 
uh, value of this label we are gonna send the we're gonna put the name of the the variable that store the stage and now we need to do the same for each of the for each of the of the fields right let me put the values here okay let me change that because i made a mistake actually the value is deal size so let me put that and the last one which is the opportunity id so let me copy this excellent and at the end we want to format this value so we're going to use the text method which basically uh, if we specify the expression the following expression let me just copy this this is the expression that we will format the value of the the deal size so when i preview that's the way we are basically showing the values and uh, let me do a, a quick update in the title we want to show a dynamic title so basically we want to show for example the name of the opportunity that has been selected so remember that we already have the name in this variable the up name variable so when i paste it basically we're showing the now that this is uh, the action plan for this particular opportunity we can go back to the home screen we can find an, uh, another opportunity like this one and in this way we are basically showing the values that we need okay that was all for today's video in our next video we are going to continue working on the action plan screen we are going to work on the rest of the section that belongs to this screen so see you in our next videos bye